Hey, welcome back to St. Isidore's Farm. A first thing, thank you to all the new subscribers to the channel. Didn't think when we started putting videos up and making videos, it was more of a creative outlet for me and a way of documenting all our adventure on this farm that we got a couple of years ago and a way to archive that in videos so that we could go back and look at it some years later and and uh, and see the process and how far things have come with the land but it's neat uh, that other people I guess many of you have decided to subscribe and follow along to what we're doing so I'll try to get videos up uh, pretty busy this is certainly not the thing that I do uh, I know there's some people out there that make vlogs and things every day that's not where we are if I can get one up once a week I'm pretty happy uh, but uh, again, thank you. And to Javi, one of my students, I told you I'd make a shout out, so here it is. One of the videos, and maybe the series of videos that we've made that have had a lot of views and a lot of response that I would have never expected was about pond aeration. And part of that was motivated by the fact that just didn't have a good experience with the product that we got, and then just wanting to talk through doing a do-it-yourself pond aeration project. That said, the HP 100 LL, this high blow uh, aerator that we got has been working flawlessly uh, all summer since we got it and put it in. For about the past month, we've been running it 24 seven, cooler during the day and at night, and it's, it's just been running constantly without issue. As a result of those videos, I got an email probably two months ago at this point uh, from a viewer of those videos and now a subscriber to the channel, uh, Henry McGrew, who said, hey, if I sent you a, a new aerator that I've designed, would you take a look at it? And would you possibly make a video and I suppose review uh, this, this aerator I made? I gotta be honest with you, I wasn't really sure what to make of the email. I didn't know if it was a scam. I didn't, you know, what? Like, this isn't something I expected that when I started making videos and put on YouTube that somebody would want to send me a product to review. So we shot some emails back and forth, and I did actually looked online and did a search, and sure enough, um, Henry had uh, filed for a patent on a pond aerator in 2011. It was granted in 2014. And I said, hey, sure, you know, if you want to send me a, an aerator, I'll, I'll be happy to take a look at it. And uh, kind of interested to see uh, what he had. So about two weeks ago, uh, this box showed up, unfortunately a little bit busted up and damaged. I'm pretty sure that's probably not how he sent it to me, but uh, McGrew Aerators and uh, patented products got a number of different uh, aerators. This is an MC-12A based on what he has marked. So I figured we would uh, at least do a, uh, I, I've no idea what this looks like, didn't see a picture of it, didn't see any videos, so you're gonna see this the first time as I do, uh, what, what this is. It's been sitting there because uh, in our, it's been sitting here since it arrived in our living room because I honestly have not had a chance, time to make a video, a lot of other things going on in our life. Um, we just did a big trip up north, uh, college visits, went all the way up to Maine, to Bar Harbor in Acadia National Park, which was amazing. But uh, there are a lot of other things going on. So let's see what we got. Um, submersible aeration pump uses. That's what's in here. A lot of packing and all right this is a uh, way more heavy duty than I was expecting so it is a here is a submersible pump what looks like legs to set it up off of the bottom a very long cord get out of the way And a schematic for the uh, for the pump and how to put it together. So I uh, have this what looks like a half inch uh, slip fitting with a threaded part. And if I understand from the emails, uh, this has just got to um, 
Uh, I'm gonna have to put this together. Looks like I need to put a plug on here. Uh, I'm gonna need to find a, a plug and then to connect it. And I think he said that I just needed to add a PVC pipe that would come up to the surface. So that's it, kind of cool. Um, really interested to see how this is going to work and uh, also to see how efficient it is. I'll make another video once I get this thing together and put it into the water, but uh, that's just a, a quick update of, of where we are. Uh, things that are going on here at the farm, getting ready for winter, a lot of continuing to do a lot of projects. Weather's getting cooler at night. We had our first uh, couple of fires in the wood stove, so that's nice. So some fall and winter projects going on, and we'll make a few videos of those. And uh, this is kind of cool. Um, I'm really interested to see how this is gonna work out and test it out, and I'll upload a video again for you soon. Thanks again for watching. Thanks again to all the new subscribers. We'll see you in the next video. God bless.